The PC is a gaming platform unlike any other. Infinitely customizable, infinitely accessible, infinitely relevant. The origin of online multiplayer, user-created mods, as well as a handful of truly exceptional video games and franchises. Over the years, some real gems found their way onto PC, and thanks to the beauty of it not being a generation-based platform, all of the titles on this list are still playable today. Still, the entries here barely scratch the surface of the PC gaming ecosystem, since there are hundreds of thousands of titles still available on marketplaces such as Steam and GOG, just to name two of them. So I'm already going to ask you, the lovely people of the comments section, to post your top PC picks in the comments below if your favourites don't crop up here. But let's face it though, there is going to be a lot of Valve here. I'm Rich from What Culture Gaming, and these are the 10 best PC games of all time. Number 10, SimCity 2000. Interesting that on this best PC games list is a title that released on Mac two years before PC. Who'd have thunk it? 1993's SimCity 2000 was one of the greatest city builders ever made, having improved on pretty much every aspect of the already pretty immaculate SimCity from 1989. Introducing a wealth of complexity such as underground layers, land elevation, and a vast amount of facilities, these features paired with the now isometric 2D graphics made SimCity infinitely playable and timeless. Nothing has really beaten it to this day. Most of the sequels from here on out were good too, obviously not talking about the 2013 reboot here. Thank you, EA. Number 9, Minecraft. Aside from the truly cringy Minecraft YouTube community, Minecraft is something truly special. The king of truly accessible sandbox gaming, a phenomenon the medium hadn't seen in years. Marcus Persson's solo endeavor became a worldwide hit, being ported to every single platform imaginable, with tens of millions of players logging in every day. The simple yet effective survive the night and build whatever the hell you like formula has not once lost any momentum. Face the sandbox solo or with friends, customize the game with texture packs and mods, take the title wherever you want since it's available on literally everything with a screen, there's really no surprise this title is a success. It may be available on consoles and mobiles where it is admittedly the most popular, but its story began right here on PC. Number 8, Team Fortress 2. Well, as I warned, here's one of many Valve titles. Team Fortress started life as a mod for Quake, pitting two teams of class-based characters against each other in a variety of modes. Valve picked it up, had the team port the mod to their Half-Life engine Gold Source, then the sequel released, and that was when all of my free time died. I love this game. Even with a consistently large play account and always being in Steam's top 10, Valve doesn't give it the attention it truly deserves, at least not currently. There are a ton of maps, items, cosmetics, and even lore to dive into, and best of all, it's free to play, with relatively frequent updates when Valve decides to. Capture the flag, payload, arena, king of the hill, capture points and more, there's a lot to do here. You have absolutely no excuse. Go and play it. Number 7, Age of Empires 2 Age of Kings. Not only is it an incredible real-time strategy title, it is a bloody good history lesson. 1999's Age of Empires 2 is a legend among RTSs, the spark that started the fires of thousands of fierce hours of LAN partying. To this day, it still sets incredibly high RTS standards, which only a few more modern games have met. The single player took place through many historical events, such as Genghis Khan's invasion of Eurasia and the Crusade of Barbarossa. As much as all of this was cool and factually awesome, the multiplayer is where the title really shone. With 13 civilizations to choose from in the base game alone, there was a wealth of units and buildings to expand with, and combat was simple yet brilliant. Truly an unforgettable multiplayer classic. Number 6, Quake. This spot could have gone to either Doom or Wolfenstein 3D, but the legacy Quake left in its own field earned it this spot. The single player was fun, albeit a little repetitive, but its jump in visual fidelity compared to Doom as well as the sheer popularity of the multiplayer scene put Quake on the map. With online multiplayer already popular by 1996, Quake's multiplayer became a monster hit. The arena shooter was born. Straight up deathmatches or more team-based modes such as Capture the Flag had captured thousands and thousands of hours, with players becoming one with the controls and learning map layouts like the back of their hands. Seriously, watch a Quake frag movie, they are truly nuts. With a few sequels under its belt, including the most recent installment Quake Champions, Quake gave a lot to the PC market and the industry, and it's still giving today. Oh, and did I mention if it weren't for Quake, we wouldn't have our beloved rocket jump. Number 5, Counter-Strike. 
Valve again, what a surprise. Same story for Counter-Strike as it was for Team Fortress, really. It started as a mod for Half-Life this time, then Valve brought it in, released it officially as a standalone title rather than a mod, then there were the sequels, and now we're at Global Offensive. But for this list, let's look at the OG, or Counter-Strike 1.6 specifically. What Quake did for fast-paced Twitch shooters, Counter-Strike did for tactical shooters. The simple concept shipped with a handful of maps was the perfect amount for players to dig in and hone their skills on. Players would develop the knowledge of every sideline, every nade spot, each and every polygon of the map to ensure victory. And much like Quake, multiplayer was the big backbone in all of this. The esports scene was huge for Counter-Strike, especially for the most recent installments, but this is where it all began. Little has really changed in the grand scheme of things for Counter-Strike, but it never really had to. Number 4. Civilization V The typically complex 4x strategy genre, explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate, was perfectly introduced to a wider audience with Sid Meier's Civilization V. Famous for that one more turn mentality, old Sid has a lot of sleepless nights to answer for. For Civ purists, however, the third or the fourth title might have been the better choice for this list, but managing to make a game appeal to a wider audience without sacrificing the original formula of the game is a tough feat, but Civ V managed it. The Brave New World expansion made Civ V not just a war game, opening up opportunities for non-violent victories. The underhanded diplomacy and trading were even better features when playing it with others, giving Civ V just what it needed to be remembered as one of the best multiplayer, online or LAN, titles ever. Number 3. World of Warcraft Blizzard's behemoth is still going strong today. Someone says MMORPG and you think of World of Warcraft. This 2004 hour drainer has sucked the free time from many a player, our very own Rach included. Shameless plug for our Chatty Faces series just here. The title had so much going for it, losing your time in Azeroth was inevitable. With a boatload of content already under the hood with always more in the works, you'll never, ever run out of things to do. The more cartoony, less realistic approach to graphics has helped WoW in the long run, as it's aged incredibly well. But it's not this, nor the gameplay, the raids, bosses, etc. that brings players back and resubscribing again and again. It's the people, it's the players, the millions upon millions who make Azeroth a living, breathing place. There is truly nothing quite like it. Number 2, Half-Life 2. This was a tough one for me, as this Valve title could have easily been number one, but I've placed it just shy instead. Half-Life 2 is one of the most important video games ever, period, not only in the PC space. The 1998 original broke boundaries like nobody's business, and the sequel did it again. Impeccable design, groundbreaking graphics that still hold up today, an engrossing narrative, an engine way ahead of its time, Half-Life 2 had, and still has, so much going for it. The episodic mini-sequels continued to immerse you in the aftermath of the Seven Hour War. Albeit ending on a cliffhanger with a known direction for the story to continue in, it's hard being a Half-Life fan as we're still waiting for our next slice of the Gordon Freeman pie. I will always believe, but I'll never get my hopes too high. Immersion, storytelling, impeccable shooting and physics, only one game could better Half-Life 2. And that is Half-Life 3. Number 1. Portal this may as well be a Valve games list. Simply put, they make some of the best games out there. Not recently, obviously, but back in the day? Oh yes. Portal takes the cake that may or may not be a lie here simply because it was a risk. A title bundled in with the infamous orange box because who knows how well it would have done on its own out in the wild. Well, it was a smash hit. Incredible design, excellent humour, interesting lore, and endless replayability, either to ruin yourself with the puzzles again or just to speedrun it. Portal was something unique and excellent. For the Portal team, Valve are blue really good at spotting upcoming talent. For a game you can beat in an afternoon, who'd have thought it could make waves this big? The sequel is again another truly impeccable title, but the first Portal lands number one here because, well, it started out as a PC game. Is there anything more to say? Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow.